Hi everyone. In uh, today's video, we take up a new question and that is a cargo work numerical. This cargo work numerical is from Captain Errol Fernandez's book. If you have that book, then you can find question number four in uh, the first exercise itself. Uh, otherwise, if you don't have the book, then you can pretty much follow my video here. So I have written the question and the solution for uh, your reference. All right. So let's get started with today's question. Uh, today's question is that uh, the dimensions of a twin deck which gave a bail capacity of 780 metric cube are 13 meter by 10 meter by 6 meter. That is the dimensions of the twin deck that gives you the volume of the twin deck. Uh, along with that, you have also been given the bail capacity of the twin deck. So if you don't know what bail capacity is, uh, bail capacity is the cubic capacity that is the volumetric capacity of a space when the breadth is taken from inside of the cargo battens and the depth from the top of the wood sheathing on the tank top to the underside of the deck beams and the length from the inside of the bulkhead stiffeners or spar ceiling where fitted. Now this definition is exactly from uh, Captain F Errol Fernandez's book. So bail capacity gives you a lesser space to load in other words than grain capacity in comparison grain capacity is actually the cubic capacity of a space where the length breadth and depth are taken right to the plating that means it gives you the maximum amount of space uh, and avails you that space for loading purposes um, anyhow we keep going so this space is to be filled with 220 tons of cotton ball cotton bales rather so the weight of the cotton bales is given to you Along with that, the storage factor and the broken storage is also mentioned to you. Along with that, you also have to, after you load the cotton bales, you have to find out how many carpet rolls you can carry in the same twin deck space. Alright, so as you probably have seen my previous videos on cargo work, the storage factor is the volume occupied by a unit weight of cargo and uh, the broken storage is actually the space between packages which remains unfilled and that means that it is kind of a waste of space sorry about that so if i if i take this um, example here this is the cargo hold and i am loading packages here so this could be one package this could be another package so the volume occupied by unit weight of cargo is storage factor and the spaces that remain unfilled so unfilled spaces gives you the broken storage all right so both are mentioned to you in the question so because the storage factor is influenced by the broken storage because of the unfilled spaces we have to find the new storage factor in this case so the new storage factor would be the storage factor on its own 2.34 plus uh, seven and a half percent of the storage factor so this seven and a half percent is the broken storage and the broken storage is uh, a percentage of the storage factor itself so that's why we have the storage factor here and we have the uh, broken storage percentage of the storage factor again so if you add these two together you will get a new storage factor that will be 2.5 155 five. all right you can go up to 2.52 if you want to i'm just going up to four decimal places uh, just to increase the accuracy all right so the uh, mass of the cotton bale given to you mass of cotton bale given to you is uh, 220 tons so volume occupied by this by cotton bales in this case with based on 220 tons is the mass multiplied by the new storage factor all right so that would be 220 tons multiplied by 2.5155 which will be giving you the volume occupied by the cotton bales all right so mass multiplied by storage factor gives you the volume occupied by the cargo all right now uh, as i fill the cotton bale in the cargo hold I will definitely cover the length and the breadth and the only variable that will be remaining is the height right so once i take this cargo hold space and i start filling it up with cotton bales you know based on the storage factor and the broken storage so this is 220 tons so let's say i have filled up 220 tons of cotton bales here right now uh, the length 
and the breadth if you think about it from a three dimensional perspective is going to be filled up right the only remaining variable would be the height the height is the one that will be unfilled right so if i have to find out the height occupied by the cotton bale cargo i have to uh, take up the volume of the cotton bale cargo so volume occupied by cotton bale so i have to mention every time it's cotton bale otherwise you will get confused whether it's carpet rolls or cotton bale divided by area of cargo hold area of cargo hold is given by length by breadth like because i said i told you that uh, when i start loading the cargo i will pretty much cover the length and the breadth it is only the height of the cargo hold that will be the remaining so of course the dimensions of the twin deck rather the twin deck is given to me as 13 by 10 by 6 where 13 and 10 is the length and breadth and 6 is the height of the twin deck so if i equate these so i get 4.257 meters that is the volume or rather the height occupied by the cotton bale cargo but total height of twin deck and i just like to solve these questions together with you guys because then you get an idea of what i am doing uh, instead of me solving it beforehand six meters right and uh, height occupied so this is the way you should be writing it in the exam as well because then it is very clear to your examiner and your assessor uh, as to what you are doing so six minus four point two five seven is equal to 1.743 so sorry this is not the height occupied height occupied by the cotton bale is of course uh, 4.257 and uh, i just uh, skipped one step so the remaining height available for loading so remaining height available for loading would be 6 minus 4.257 which is equal to 1.743 meters right now uh, that would mean that uh, if the total volume total volume of twin deck or rather we can take uh, in this case we can take the bale capacity because i think we need to load this cargo according to the bale capacity but you are lucky here the total volume of the twin deck so will be equal to 13 by 10 by 6 but you should consider it uh, uh, this will be 780 metric cube but uh, ideally you should load it as per the bale capacity here because this is not a bulk cargo this is not grain or anything like that so we take 780 metric cube so in this case both the bale capacity and the grain capacity is the same so you are kind of safe and i think they intentionally did it so as to not to confuse you so the total volume available is 780 metric cube of the twin deck and uh, volume occupied already is uh, by the cotton bale is 2 553.41 right so volume occupied by cotton bale not carpet roll by cotton bale that we found out before in uh, previously as you can see above here i found out that the volume occupied by the cotton bale cargo is 553.41 right 553.41 so therefore volume available for loading would be how much 780 minus 553.41 which will give you 2 to 6.59 metric cube now in each case make sure that you write the units because that helps you to um, uh, track uh, the uh, the number and the unit and it helps you to cross check that you are assigning the correct number of the uh, to the uh, correct parameter so volume should be in metric cube weight should be in tons and that helps you to follow that as well all right now uh, the cargo uh, carpet roll so the dimensions of the carpet roll are given to us so the carpet roll uh, carpet roll diameter is as 0 0.85 meters correct and height or rather the length i can say height or length of the carpet roll is four meters right so if i have to find uh, the volume of carpet roll each carpet roll volume of carpet roll it's simi similar to finding volume of a cylinder so that would be pi r square h or pi r square l it doesn't matter pi as you know is 22 by 7 
r would be half of the diameter so 0.85 by 2 will be half of the diameter square multiplied by 4 meter which is equal to 2.27 now because it is the volume occupied by a single carpet roll it will be metric cube so now let's find out uh, the number of carpet rolls i can load so if the volume available to me and i'll just change the color of the pen so volume available to me is 226.59 and uh, the volume of each carpet roll is 2.27 so what will be the maximum number of carpet rolls i can load so the number of carpet rolls that can be loaded that can be loaded is equal to available volume 226.59 divided by volume of the carpet roll 2.27 that would be about 99 200 rolls so we have to give it a round number you cannot give it a number in decimals although you will get an answer in decimals you can't give it the answer in decimals because uh, that's not a practical uh, answer so better to give the answer uh, in a, a whole number so that you can make it a realistic answer because that's what you will be doing on the ship as well correct uh, the other thing we have to find out is the maximum tier of carpet rolls that can be loaded maximum tier means maximum height maximum tier of carpet rolls how many height or how many uh, layers of carpet roll rather i can say layers of carpet roll uh, that can be loaded so if you don't understand what does that mean let me explain it to you in the way of a diagram so if you have this cargo hold space available to you right now let me show you with the red now let's say these are the cotton bales you have loaded right you have loaded these cotton bales and up to here you have loaded cotton bales right so this is a cotton bale space cotton bales right now you have you need to roll carpet rolls now in the available height that is available to you how many carpet rolls how many tiers of carpet rolls can you load considering the volume so tier means one two three so you can see these are two tiers okay one over top of other that's why i said layers if i had one more layer here then that would be the third tier so that's what i mean so we have to find out how many tiers of carpet rolls we can load based on the height that is available to us all right so how much is the height available to us uh, did we find out yes we did because this is the remaining height available for loading this is the remaining height available for loading 1.743 meter square meter rather remaining meter and our diameter is 0 0.85 so you can see that uh, each tier will be occupied by the diameter correct this is the diameter each tier will be occupied by the diameter so uh, if I know that the height available for loading is uh, 1.743 and I know the diameter of carpet roll is 0 0.85 meter then uh, tier maximum tier of carpet rolls that can be loaded will be height available divided by the diameter of the carpet roll which will be equal to 2.05 so 2.05 is the number of tiers so let's round it off to two tiers so that's all we can load so only we can load only two tiers we can't load any third tier or fourth tier or anything like that so we can load only two tiers of carpet rolls all right so we have the answer here two tiers is the answer and that's the answer in the book as well all right so i hope this question uh, you understood this question and how to solve this question if you have any queries concerns any questions any doubts uh, and you are not very clear about how i went about this question or you have suggestions to improve it or you just want to give feedback on how these videos are being useful for your learning please feel free to comment uh, in the comment section i look forward to your comments and feedback uh, that encourages me a lot to put more videos uh, or similar videos for your learning